Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beat keeping is a way of life. <laughs> uh, today's video was recorded last night. Today's August 17th. If you are, uh, this is a really timely video for somebody. So if you are illegally keeping bee or uh, trespassing to keep bees or anything like that in my area, you might want to watch all the way to the end. It might save you a whole lot of money or uh, a lot of headache anyway. Here we go. Okay, I'm on a bit of a mission this evening. It's Thursday evening, 7.30, about 15 minutes to dark, to sunset. Uh, got a situation where somebody's keeping bees on county property without permission from anybody to do with the county, I guess. I went out there and looked at what they had about uh, probably two months ago, back before the flow, went and looked to see what they had, and it was, if I recall correctly, three, three hives. I can't even remember; it's been so long ago. But I told them they want me to just pick bees up and move them. I said, "Well, I don't want to get in any legal trouble for this because bees are considered livestock. I don't know who owns them. I don't know who gave them permission to put out, put them out here. Apparently, nobody did because nobody's owning up to it." and the uh, county wants to move. So they think it's a county employee possibly, but nobody can find it out. They've set up three trail cameras and two of the cameras have been stolen and I don't know what the report was on the third. But anyway, they apparently they've had enough. They want the bees gone. So to protect myself, I said, well, look, y'all gotta either get uh, animal control to come out here and call me while they're on site I'll come get them or you get the county attorney to uh, draft a letter so that's what they did they got the county attorney to draft a letter requesting me uh, and it's in my email I hadn't even <laughs> I probably ought to read it I hadn't even read it but I got the county attorney to draft me a letter telling me to come remove bees kind of a hold harmless type thing we're saying they want me to move the bees and that uh, you know, whoever shows up to claim them can pay for the service once they, once their bees are delivered back to them. So, if you're running a situation like that, that's the only reason I'm even shooting this. If you're running a situation like that, keep in mind, bees are considered livestock. You know, back in the day, livestock equals horses, cows. Back in the day, that'd be a, a jailable or hanging a fence, and it's still carries a, a steep steep penalty if you get caught messing with or stealing somebody's bees so um, what we're doing basically is impounding the bees I go out there pick the hives up take them put them at a undisclosed location if somebody shows up and I, I, I almost think they won't because if they show up they got an answer to uh, why they keeping bees on county property, who gave them permission, what happened to the cameras that the uh, county supervisor hung out there, all that stuff. So, I don't know. I, I don't need them. Got plenty of my own, so this is not anything that's really benefiting me, which is the whole reason that if they show up, they're going to pay me for my service. Because, uh, Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time running out there catching or, or moving boxes that it was it was homemade equipment it wasn't nothing fancy so they're not losing a lot that but you know when you got bees you only got two three hives that's a lot that's a lot to you I hope they show up because I want them to have their bees I just wish they had uh, gone about beekeeping a different way and got permission from the county before they pulled a stunt like this that's where I'm headed, fixing the gas truck up and get on out there before it gets too dark. So probably for uh, for obvious reasons, I'm probably going to upload this video ahead of some scheduled uploads just so uh, you know whoever you are, who's got your bees. Come on, find me. Look me up on Facebook, Dirt Rooster Bees on Facebook. Send me a private message or something. Come get these bees because uh, honestly, I don't need them. And uh, I want you to have your bees. So not tied to the county if you're worried about getting in trouble with, with the 
with the popo or the county or whatever. I'm not tied to them in any way, so just come holler at me, hit me up on Facebook, Dirt Rooster Bees, send me a private message, something. I don't use uh, Messenger on my phone at all, so it might take me a little while to get back to you. Been raining off and on for a couple days too, and they're down in a field, kind of on the low end of a field, so uh, we might be using four wheel drive to get in there. I told them I'd come out here and get them last week, and I totally forgot. Got another email today asking me if I'd pick the bees up, so I was kind of hoping that whoever owned them had already come and got them. But, no such luck. Three highs, fishing to get them and get them on out of here. Hive number one. Hive number two. Hive number three. All right, loaded up, I'm out. Not too familiar with this terrain here. I gotta find my way back out without finding a stump hole or something. Heard somebody riding a, a UTV or a, maybe a four wheeler somewhere close by. I thought maybe it'd been somebody heading over this way. Kind of, I was kind of hoping it was because really I <laughs> I didn't want to come move them. I ain't got time to fool with them. Nobody showed up, so I'm heading off with somebody's bees. The first two were probably 50 pounds a piece. That last one was north of 90 if I had to guess. It, I, that last one's honey bound. All three of them are in pretty good shape it looked like, but the last one uh, needs some attention just by the weight of it. It feels like nothing but a deep honey super full of honey. So that one, uh, I hate to spend time on somebody else's bees when I got my own to tend, but if somebody don't do something with that one, it's just gonna die out. So I'll probably go through it and either, uh, I'll probably just stick a super on top of it. I mean, they gotta have somewhere to go. They ain't got nowhere to build in it. Cause I tell you from the weight, it is slam full. Might not have to keep these bees after all. I got somebody that's been on my tail for a little while. Matching me turn for turn might be the guy. I'm not sure if it's to find out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting paranoid, but somebody with a dually with cab lights is matching me turn for turn. And just followed me up. <laughs> He's been behind me for a little while. I turned up in the uh, tractor supply to see if he'd follow me. He followed me up in tractor supply. And uh, he wasn't looking for me at all. He stopped over here talking to somebody else. They're working on something. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I thought I had found my guy, or he had found me. I was fixing to unload them bees on him right there in the tractor supply parking lot. When I pulled out of uh, the county property up there, it's on a dirt driveway it comes out to a main road I pulled out to the main road and uh, wait you know wait on traffic well this truck truck with dually with cab lights pulls up across the street kind of down a little ways and just sits there and he can go he didn't have no traffic holding him up so uh, you know first thing comes to my mind this guy see me go in there and he, he wants to know what I'm doing well, it, truth be known, he was probably texting or, or uh, looking at Facebook or something. But, <laughs> but he sat there for a little bit, and I just sat there for a little bit thinking maybe he'd come over and approach me. He never did, so I pulled out and uh, headed north. He pulled out about the same time I did, pulled in behind me. And then uh, first turn, he followed me. Next turn, he followed me. Next turn, he followed me. <laughs> This dude's matching me turn for turn. Wasn't really doing anything uh, uh, suspicious. He was driving fine, but just uh, matching me turn for turn coming a pretty good distance. So I pulled up into uh, Tractor Supply when I got to it. I thought, hey, you know, I'll, I'll just make this one last, I'll make a stop here, give him the chance to approach me if this is who I think it might be. I pulled up in Tractor Supply. He follows me in Tractor Supply. I was like, all right, here we go. He put, but he parked way out in the parking lot. So I'm going, what the heck? 
he pulls <laughs> he pulls up to a a piece of uh, mobile home moving equipment to help the guy unhook it off of his truck. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything I'm doing. <laughs> oh man, these are going to a fresh yard. Never had bees on it before, but the guy's been begging me to put bees on it for three years now. So I called him. I said, "Hey, you want to be an impound yard?" Sure. So that's where I'm headed. There they are under a crescent moon not that you can see that take a battery on my flashlights going dead all right get on out of here one more quick word uh whoever bees they are if you're watching the video might want to go pull your swarm traps down too because all i got the bees but uh you got a little bit of money in swarm traps hanging around, so I won't go get them before somebody else does.